Well, hey guys. So we're just getting over a slight cold snap. I actually had to turn my heater on and man, I am feeling it. <laughs> I'm really sensitive to heaters. They always like dry out my nose. I hate it. I used to get really bad nosebleeds when I was a child all the time. Like I have a little blood vessel in my nose. It's like super sensitive to changes in humidity. Now as an adult, I'll get one maybe one or two a year. So I'm hoping that me turning the heater on doesn't trigger a geyser because it's really annoying when they happen. You're just kind of out, out of commission for 20 minutes. <laughs> stuff there. Pro tip though, works really well if you get a nosebleed. Get one of those little OB tampons, the small ones, shove it up your nose. Works like a charm. I learned that actually because that's what they used to do in my high school, the wrestling team. Like if they got a nosebleed, they put a tampon up their nose. <laughs> and I was like, that's actually brilliant. And it works really well. Um, just the little OB ones. Because when I lived in Colorado, I got them a lot more because the air there is dry to begin with. And then with winter and the heaters and everything, it's like super dry. And anytime I went to the mountains to, you know, enjoy the mountains as you do there, would, I would often just spontaneously start gushing blood out of my nose. And it's so annoying for many reasons. And when you're in public and it happens and you don't have like, anything and it's all over your hands and everything and like you're obviously uh, making a spectacle of yourself and then people are like concerned it's just it's annoying on so many levels because people you know they mean well they're empathetic and everything but it's like oh i just want this to stop <laughs> let me know if you get nosebleeds a little petroleum jelly in the nose though it helps keep them from from popping up if you get them a lot you gotta be careful though, uh, you know, not to shove too much petroleum jelly up your nose. You could, I suppose, inadvertently aspirate some of it. You know, for everyday people putting a little petroleum jelly right there in their nose, it's fine. Um, also good, you know, your nose gets really raw in the winter too, like right around here, especially if you happen to get a runny nose, cold, you're blowing your nose a lot. What can it not do? All right, I'm gonna rinse this off. Started this at the beginning of December, didn't I? And we are almost to, I mean, January, we are in a blink of a hat. This is how much I've gone through. I've been using it every day. Speaking of nose, I'm coming in um, with the Chestnut AHA. Uh, you gotta be careful with exfoliants. If you get them too close to your nostril and they get in the you know nasal mucosa, that can be pretty irritating, actually. I'm just gonna do one. <laughs> pump. I have no complaints with this. It's been pretty nice. This AHA essence. I've been liking this so far. Um, and you don't need very much of it. You could use it twice a day. It's, it's pretty gentle. It's for smoothing, dull, dry, rough skin texture. Over that, I'm coming in with the Healthy Renew Face Serum. Sunscreen of the day, Madagascar Centella Hialu Sika Sun Serum. Love this. Just put some directly on. All right, coffee time. And sadly, with the freeze, the shrubbery out there did not survive. I don't know what they're gonna do about replacing that. Kinda looks like ugh, death and destruction. I bet they will wait until the summer to replace that. So that'll be interesting. Fortunately, none of the palm trees died off. It appears they all survived. A few years ago when we had that bad freeze, a lot of the palm trees Unfortunately, it did not make it, and taking down a dead palm tree, it, that is that is a lot of labor, so. Anyway, little update. Been loving the first date candle I got last weekend. Love that passion fruit. One of my favorite 
fruits as well as I love the scent. I kind of forgot though that I got this for, as a Christmas gift, uh, this candle set from Apothic. If you're like me, sometimes I get things like a gift and I don't want to open it or use it. <laughs> I don't know, I'm kind of odd like that. Uh, Cause I don't know, it's just so pretty. But um, I wanted to show you this cute little thing I also got um, actually a few years ago as a gift and I was cleaning out my um, kitchen cabinets and somehow I stuck it in there. But it's like these little bags and things, but they're made to look like sushi. Like this is a little, a little tote bag and this is like a little elastic band that you could put around something. Um, and then this little roll is like a little pouch. Someone I know gave this to me as a gift. They got it like at a art, mu art museum gift shop. Here's what the lid looks like. Pleats, please. You see Miyaki. Um, it, it's just kind of cute there. I don't know, I like it. <laughs> this is another gift that I got a couple of years ago um, from actually the same person that gave me the little Isi Miyaki thing. And I just love it. I think, I wanna say it's like maybe for napkins. Uh, isn't it pretty though? I think you could also put like your makeup palettes in it. That would be neat. I have it here and I just stick the LED remote in it. But yeah, I just love little details. These baskets I got um, from Goodwill.com actually. Longa Burger, I love these. Um, I have this long one and this little one. And then I also have this one that I store like cards in. And then I have this big one down here um that i have some random like magazines and things in coffee timer's going off uh so i took it upon myself to tidy up this area a bit uh because it was looking a little cluttered and chaotic i got my almonds there on that little lazy susan that i got in a fab fit fun box so I'm here in Target. I just filmed a Target shop with me video, but now I'm over in the foot care section. I wanted to show you guys, because recently I did a video on how to get rid of jock itch. So the over-the-counter antifungal cream that I recommend for like jock itch, ringworm, athlete's foot, those are all types of skin infections with fungus, it's called dermatophytes. Terbenafine is the best for clearing that up. Check that video out or check out my video on how to get rid of ringworm if that's something you're dealing with. But you can either get the name brand or the store version. Look how the price point is so different. It's $15.69 versus $6.99. It's the same drug, same drug. Go with the up and up version. That's a good price actually. This is good for dermatophytes. Not necessary though if you are dealing with Canada yeast. Canada yeast tends to respond pretty well to clotrimazole. So if you get those little yeast infections in the skin folds where they tend to pop up, clotrimazole can help with that. Um, but again, you don't have to buy Lotrimin. You could get you could get the up and on version. I wish they wouldn't call it an athlete's foot cream because clotrimazole is not good for athlete's foot. Athlete's foot. You want terbenafine, but clotrimazole is helpful for yeast infections of the skin. Uh, $7.99 versus Lotrimin, $15.49. These little gel spacers can be really handy because some people, they have a lot, just the way their toes are shaped, they have a lot of overlap and that friction plus some moisture can lead to breakdown of the skin there. For people who have diabetes, they can get a toe space infection and that can break down then uh, the bacteria and things can get into the, the cracks in the skin and cause a more serious infection. So this can kind of help cut down on that problem a bit by keep, and help, you know, you want to keep the area clean and dry. By reducing the friction, it can really help. But I wanted to check out and see if they had any cute underwear. Um, I wanted to see if they had any cute pajamas. Target pajamas are nice, but they're pretty expensive. Don't sleep on the Lovejoy brand though from Walmart. They are really good. Does this robe kind of look like a coat? It does. 
Ooh, this looks cozy. Is that the, oh, cozy. <laughs> I was gonna say, is it called cozy? These look comfortable too. Sweat sets, $20. I guess that's not too bad. They don't feel that comfortable though. They feel kind of cheap. Yeah, the like, the inside's not soft. You know when you get a new sweatshirt and it's super soft inside? This is lacking in that area. I don't know about this color either, this rust or robe. It's kind of um, very 70s Vegas vibe. Like wood, you'd expect like wood panels everywhere and maybe a shag green carpet or something. I don't know, I don't even know what I'm talking about. I have this other little loungy robe in the same color. Honestly, Target has not had good clothing. I mean, this is sleepwear, but you know what I mean, in a long time. They used to have the cutest stuff, plaid. I, I don't know what's going on. And these little satiny pajamas, they don't even, they don't even feel like they're very good quality. I'm over in the Valentine section. This is adorable. Bagel bites, pizza bagel, bagel bites. You get a little <laughs> splushy. <laughs> And then you get the gummy pizzas. That's really fun. I'm sorry, I think that's cute. This is fun too. It's got a little nerve set. You can play, you know, just flick the football on there. That seems like it'd be entertaining. Are these gummy too or chocolate? Yeah, gummy. I have about 100 pages left of this. Um, I'm listening to it on Audible. And I really, I really like this. I highly recommend it. It's, it's quite good. Um, it's taken me such a long time to make it through on Audible though. Audiobooks, you know, I it takes me longer to go through them. Is this new? I love this author. Really good. And did Kristen Hanna come up with a new book too? I haven't started the book I got last weekend, The Four Winds. I got it at the library. Um, but I'm going to start that probably tomorrow. I love her books. One of you suggested that breast and egg book, so I, I don't know that they carry that here. I may have to go on the library website and have them hold it for me. Um, I like John Grish John Grisham. I have to be in the mood, but I always enjoy his books. I also enjoy a little Nicholas Sparks here and there. It looks like he has a new book, Dream Land. All of his books are the same basic, like storyline more or less but kind of different settings but they're enjoyable i went through a phase where i was really into reading them this book is really good but very intense i could not get into colleen hoover i don't like that kind of like steamy stuff i find it a little boring colleen hoover has young adult books too or is, is Colleen Hoover young adult? Why is this in the young adult section? Um, the book I tried to read of hers did not strike me as a young adult. Um, I, it was this. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't make my way through it. I, was, I found it, no offense if you like her books. I just found it so dull. Some movies here. Um, Asteroid City. I haven't ever heard of that. Tom Hanks is pretty good. I wonder if that's one on, on one of the endless st streaming services which have become such a scam. So this guy is a really popular YouTuber, Joshua Weisman. His videos are really good. They're really watchable. They're like, they remind me of like shows on the Food Network, but like more engaging than that. But do you guys remember when I went to that YouTuber conference thing in, um, in uh, in California, in uh, Palm Springs, a few years ago, I had never I I had never heard of this guy before. But obviously, he's like a top YouTuber. Well, I met him and interacted with him, and, I, and then I had no clue who he was. <laughs> like, but he's a really nice person in real life. Um, I you know really nice. Uh, but yeah, really enjoyable channel to watch. I like these little bamboo baskets for storage. Except you. They're kind of pokey on the inside. I have something similar to this in my bathroom linen cabinet and they're really handy for storing like shampoo bottles and stuff. I guess 
they're kind of making it seem like this is for the pantry, but I have one for my bathroom in the in the uh, linen closet and it works really well. Check it out, Target has sun hats out and I have a hat like this that I love. Of course, you know, I use it when I have my hair in a bun on the top of my head so I get scalp protection from all my hair. Um, but the one I have is a San Diego hat company and I love them because they roll up and you can throw them in your bag really easily in your purse. Sun hats are a must. These look like they're kind of sheer though. I like this one. Well, hey guys, just hopped out of the shower, did my skincare routine. Cold weather snap is a thing of the past. Back to regular Houston weather. So I've got my little Amazon pajama set I've had for a couple of years now. This thing has, how many years have I had this? You guys would know you who have been watching. I feel like I've had this for going on two and a half years. I finished the Cetaphil Healthy Renew Night Cream. Love that. I have a backup. It's like a really nice, rich facial moisturizer. But um, currently, I'm using and loving the new Hydro Boost Water Cream. Um, this is, let me know if you've tried this, what you think. Like, what do you guys think? How does it compare to the other one? The texture and everything is just completely different. I kind of adore this. I, like I said in my review, I prefer it to the other one. When it comes to, I, I feel like I'm a, a broken record, but I'm telling you, a lot of the heavy lifting of your skincare products comes down to the moisturizing aspect of things. Now, I just waited for everything to set up and I had to display that to you guys. <laughs> um, what did I use to moisturize my body? I need to renew, I need to renew, as if it's a library book. I need to reorder my Gold Bond Retinol Pure Body Lotion um, as I finish that. I've also been making my way through the Lipicare AP Triple Repair Moisturizing Cream. I'm actually almost finished with this. But one thing that's kind of annoying about this um, is that the pump, like I wanna do multiple pumps for body moisturizing, like a lot. Like I want a lot in my hand to, cause you need more, right? When you're doing your body. But it's slow to, the pump is really slow. Like you push it down and it slowly comes back up before you can push it down again and get more moisturizer out. So that's just a little packaging nuisance, but I've rather been enjoying that. It's a nice moisturizer. It has niacinamide. I often recommend that or really any body moisturizer with niacinamide as an option for lightening underarm skin, which can be related to a lot of things, by the way. Um, but at least niacinamide is really gentle under the arms. It's not gonna, cause irritation, unless you're sensitive to it. Because things like urea, retinol, alpha hydroxy acids, depending on how the product is formulated, they can be super irritating under the arm and ultimately worse than hyperpigmentation. Just now I was on my phone filming some videos and I went down a rabbit hole on TikTok of these dance videos. And so I was trying to do the dances. <laughs> I got a little workout in, if I do say so myself. Dancing is so much fun. Um, when I was in my heyday, like in college and stuff, I loved going out to nightclubs to go dancing. I could just go, like I didn't really drink a lot of alcohol, and especially when I was, you know, before I was 21, I would go to these like under 21 nightclubs, 18 and over or whatever, and I didn't care about alcohol. Of course I would go with friends in a group, I didn't just go by myself. Um, I had so much fun and I feel like that kind of thing, I don't know, I should get back in the habit of that. I don't like dancing with a partner though because I want to do my own thing, you know? So I, I mean, I will do like, you know, more formal style dancing with somebody, but I prefer to just rock out to my own beat, if you will. <laughs> but yeah, dancing is a really good way to get in exercise and it not feel like exercise, at least for me. Like once I start with dance, it's hard for me to stop because it's so much fun. The only video game system I ever got into was the Wii. I loved that thing. Wii Tennis, never played tennis before in my life, but man, I could just play on that Wii Tennis. Is there anything like that nowadays in the realm of video games? It's like interactive where you have to get up and do stuff or dance because the Wii was a lot of fun. I don't know why that died, I guess, because 
I don't know. But I've never gotten into like video games. But if that made a comeback or something like it, I might have to open up a streaming channel of me doing that. Um, because that was a lot of fun. But that's a great way to get an exercise if you're someone who does not like exercising or even if you like exercising. Just, you know, randomly put on some music. It's such a mood boost too. And just whatever your favorite type of music is and just go to town, you know what I mean? I mean, is anybody ever not happy after getting their groove on? <laughs> I guess if you throw your knee out, then you won't be smiling, but that's not gonna happen. Anyway, y'all, I'm gonna wrap this vlog up here. Thank you so much for making it to the end. I hope you're having a fantastic weekend. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.